So uh, let's go ahead and go to your next part. If you, I'm sure I took you off track there a little bit, but just oh no, no, it actually, it, it actually was exemplifying exactly the point I was going to make. So. Okay. I say that there are timely and transferable time blocks. The timely ones are things that are set in stone. You can't move it. There's a good, nice little chunk and it won't roll out of place. When you have the timely appointment, you and everyone else around you know that that cannot be changed. Back to the example we gave before. 8 a.m. every Tuesday, you're on the phone or you're connecting with your previous clients. Staff meetings every Thursday at 11 a.m. and or every first Tuesday, you know those are set times. They will not change. They cannot change because of the value you have placed on that activity. Now, there are other activities that maybe due to prioritization may not be quite as concrete and they can be shifted from one moment to another in this block of your, your scheduler. So if you say in this example that we just talked with Jeff about, the, the boss provided an emergency that needed to get done. Now, Jeff was not able to finish the proposal, which means he's going to transfer that proposal to another slot in his schedule. Right. In okay. Case, no two things can be in one place. Then something else needs to be taken out. So I'm always working with, with, with my clients and making sure as your schedule is, is laid out, you're not filling it with things that are, rock, sand, rock, gravel, sand, all the way packed full that you are so jam packed the entire week, there is no flex time to adjust and accommodate. There need to be gaps to take care of little emergencies and to catch up and to cushion. There has to be that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely has to be that. I agree with that a thousand percent. 